Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our flawless run, which is Legendary Iron Man War of the Chosen with uh, permanent dark events. And I'm trying to flawless as much as possible, plus zero death and you name it. So you know what the drill is uh, today? It's Operation Heavy Tears and I hope we don't have heavy tears by playing that mission. It's a raid on an advent convoy, so a full-fledged raid mission, not a smash and grab. We're bringing our corporals in the hopes of finally getting a sergeant and with a sar sergeant we can then upgrade the squad size. So that's the name of the game for now. Um, we will be rocking the Reaper again for the superior ability to, to uh, scout. Also the remote start ability with a convoy oftentimes helps because you can simply um, destroy the cars and with it also a couple of enemies the disabled advent convoy is just ahead all right all ah, okay so we do have uh, the side trip this time that we're seeing our enemy packs double stun lancer plus sector double stun lancer captain signal stun lancer sector well, these are beefy packs. Well, whenever you get kind of the wall hack, the game also no time to spare. forces you, um, or your force level goes up, so the game will um, put you against tougher opponents. Uh, I would say we're just trying to get uh, to the high ground and move from there. Also, I'm hoping that we can remote start our way through this year. I've spotted an alien patrol. Uh, just out of curiosity. That would be a great explosion. Lots of good explosions available here. I think what I would want to do is move up here to, to trick both of them to come a bit closer. At the same time, moving over. All right. Yeah, stay there. No, 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 don't go. No, why, why are you moving that far away? It's a not a necessary. That's a good one as well. Oh, that's a full pack gone. I am at your service. They have a patrol moving here. Good, it's the easiest of the three packs, but getting a full pack. Yep, that's pretty damn good. I'm on the move. Moves up. Opens the door. And moves into cover. Already there. Yeah, this will be interesting. These guys are on high alert. I go where you tell me. I'm reloading. Another remote start and we might get another pack. These guys are now also on high alert. Moving. 
Heading as ordered. Interesting. Well, in that case, I think what we're going to do is double whammy them, which is Claymore into into a grenade and that with the exception of the sector that should be enough for the other two to immediately die don't like the sector uh, we can however try our best to not be spotted out and just kill him which would be this into this of course we missed and I don't uh, want to take any chances here which means a little bit more explosion Loot destruction sucks, but it is what it is. At first, Advent deployed non-lethal stun units for crowd control and the occasional protest. We don't see a whole lot of that anymore. Yeah. Well, that's an easy choice. Watch those supply crates. If you destroy them, there won't be anything left for us to recover once the area is secure. We destroyed so much. Throwing Confirm. Moves up. Planks. Not good. And misses the eighty percent shot. Moves up. Thanks. Status confirmed. All hostels are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. And that's not a bad uh, thing. Got ourselves our first, uh, our first uh, squad side upgrade. Oh, nice. Very good. So, improved radius, improved damage, uh, that is great. We could use target definition, but if you're more experienced, you know where the enemy is going, so target definition isn't as uh, necessary. Uh, that, however, will be helpful going forward, because it improves the base damage of the Reaper, which is typically relatively low. Shadow Step, always over Shadow Strike. And we have Elarium, we have Alloys, we do have plenty of supplies, and in the GTS we are getting squad size upgrade number one. Now we can finally go in with five soldiers. Training center is uh, going, resistance ring is uh, going well as well. So everything is going our way as you would expect in a campaign where you are snowballing. Continuing to make contact, I want to still try to squeeze in the making contact here prior to the end of the month. Let's see if we can manage that. Good, that upgrades our income. We can continue making contact here. If we're lucky, it's six days and we can do it before the end of the month. It's eight days, uh, so no problem in getting the black market first, as well as getting the supplies. We stick around and finish the job, but the choice is yours. Good. View the facility. We're going to get more covert uh, actions. Covert actions are good. We want uh, them to be uh, to happen fast. Um, 
benefits we gain from working with the resistance factions on their covert operations are a major boon to I our I think I would want to risks involved. Our soldiers hmm. could potentially Good be question, do we want to get a Templar? Templars are great. As easy a decision as it may seem. We have learned new There's another engineer that we could get. That's great as well. Promotions are good because uh, that is quicker. That is a quicker upgrade to six slots. We could uh, let we could let uh, Anders just get a quick promotion. And putting him together with a specialist. That's not bad. The 13 ability points are fine, but um, going for promotions at the beginning actually helps. And engineers are fantastic rewards as well. But this here will give us um, six soldiers ASAP. And it's only ten uh, it's only ten days. So we're fine. We could buy a corporal sharpshooter and a couple of other interesting items. More interesting for me is that they are currently, they themselves are interested in Elerium. First time that we need Elerium is later in the game. So what we can do right now is use the fact that we get uh, twice the amount of uh, Elerium crystals here and just sell that. Alarium cores are valuable as well, but getting supplies isn't bad either. And hence one of them needs to go, which is fine. Having a lot of supplies at the beginning uh, just eases your way uh, through a lot of the uh, things that you're looking for. Captain rank happens soon. We could upgrade here as soon as we do have more power. And we're good. Uh, things are fine at the moment. Getting even some more supplies here and then making contact. Uh, that um, is a good usage of uh, resources that we've acquired. Plus one damage. We should perform the autopsy as soon as possible. Commander, the science team. We're now going for magnetic weapons. As mentioned, that is necessary in order to just have more oomph, better alpha strike, less counterplay from the enemies. The DM has just joined us as a ranger. Let's take a good look at our classes. Plenty of um, plenty of grenadiers, couple of rangers, um, couple of specialists. We're missing another sharpshooter, which I think we should be getting. The elders never had any issues targeting civilians, and their chosen are no different. The resistance is counting on us to protect their people. We can't let them down. Strategic resource located. Good. Another 50 supplies, that's good. We certainly don't need rookies at this point. Uh, we are instead continuing to make contact. Attempting to establish Commander, we've received word that the aliens have completed a facility devoted to their work. Good. That might be something that we can rate uh, realistically by just building uh, a building network towers and moving there. This would uh, suck. It's not permanent, though. Um, just like uh, the uh, minor and major breakthroughs, where you get uh, where you uh, where you get dots on the doom clock. Uh, this is, uh, although it's permanent dark events, this is not permanent. Our mission time rest increased by two is great, but I think what we're taking instead is additional shredding. Uh, soon. We're going to fight against the first towers and against the mechs, and that would be helpful. I am quite comfortable with the amount of time that we have. 
timers, if you play it long enough, are not that much of a problem. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Good, there is another engineer, which is fantastic. That on top of the 90 Intel is good. We don't know what the other missions in the resistance ring this time would be. But uh, getting a faction soldier uh, would potentially be good. Uh, reducing avatar progress from the get-go, uh, very good. Reduce avatar progress here, very good. So both of them were lucky uh, with that. Might actually go for sabotage and, and therefore stall the game. But before we do anything, let's uh, jump into uh, the next mission just looking at the timing uh, the missions are so fast at the beginning it's unbelievable good let's take a good look what we are what we want to have on uh, the mission so unfortunately Roro is tired we're taking a Reaper and then I think one of each Yeah, that's not a bad idea. So. Just color coding the newcomers really quickly. Good. Make armor available, make weapons available, make utility items available. We're good um, right there. Don't really have anything uh, for inappropriate Murphy. We got a good gun for Wilson with a stock. Uh, we got a better scatter gun and we got the nice little traditional sword. Which brings us to the question of... Just weapon upgrades. Did I get anything? You know what? Might as well put a stock in here. And that's pretty much it. Recover resistance uh, objective. And we're getting a, another grenadier. Which is good because we're uh, we're having uh, another engineer. Which is good because we're having one permanently assigned to the resistance ring at the moment. Oh, okay. So that's one of those missions where you are starting to uh, rescue this guy, and afterwards uh, reinforcements will be popping in. Okay, cool. First of all, we gotta figure out where the enemy, um, where the enemies are located, because I can promise you that there are still a couple of packs around. And how we're going to do that is by moving aggressively forward and taking space for us. Then inappropriate Murphy will take the high ground there. Okay, well, that changes things a little bit. I've got enemy movement here. I can hear them. Commander, okay. Remember, no matter how tough things get down here, we can't evac until we complete the mission. Bradford, remember to Did shut you know. up. Okay. Uh, Location confirmed. Moves there, moves here, and then there to block the ladder. Move down there, and uh, the DM moves to here. Right, move up. Solid copy. 
goes further. And we're going to use our scout, aka our reaper. I will be position. My turn overwatch. Moving over on watch. watch. Good. Look, that's a beefy pack. I wonder. If I should claim more of them, would make this pack very, uh, very, very easy. At the same time, we're going to lose some firepower later. But a triplet hit, we wouldn't get that uh, once the reinforcements are coming. So. I guess let's not, not waste uh, grenades on the people where grenades count, uh, which is why the DM took that uh, shot. But yeah, first pack, not a problem at all. Next pack is over here. We already heard sound cues indicating that. Oh wow, that's another beefy pack. That's another beefy pack. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, moving over here. This will not trigger. We're moving all the way up here. Yeah, that could be a shot, but I'm not going to take that yet. In instead, what I would want to do is move to here. Next time we can move to high ground. Question is, what do we do with inappropriate Murphy? Uh, could put him here. Affirmative. Not a bad idea. All right, a little bit of overwatch depends where these guys are now going. Well, apparently it does not depend uh, because we have already triggered them. Couple of good hits. And this is where our cover removal comes into place. This is for you. For removal. Very nice. Four, five. We're going to take that shot here because our sniper has plus one damage, which is great. It's exactly what we need. Good copy. Moving on target. Then moving up here. Kill that sector. And then moving very close. And it is, as always, a shotgun to the face. Kill that settles the conflict, the dispute. Okay, so how do we want to go about it? I think having the high ground here in the middle is a, a valiant um, goal. Should have that. Inappropriate Murphy. Might want to get over here and uh, have uh, shooting angles, and we can take it from there. Really. Moving on. 
moving as ordered. Don't want to get too close to him because the moment that we get too close to him, that will trigger the next steps, and we're not ready for that. I would want to first reload and get everybody up here into a safe and secure position. Good, fully reloaded. End of turn. I wonder. Potentially not necessary to support uh, inappropriate Murphy over there. Good, let's first do this. And then a little bit of that. And I'm wondering if we want to get all the way over there, but I think that's not necessary. I'm on the move. Overwatch. Moving Overwatch. I'll watch closely. Got it coming. Okay, so before anybody moves anywhere, I go where I'm needed. this here will trigger the reinforcements. Good. We now know that uh, some are coming from there and some are coming the from right there. Identity confirmed. Firebrand is setting up for evac. We've got multiple contacts closing on your position. It's an ambush. Hold your ground. Full cover here is fantastic, that's good. Now, moving over here, it's the second uh, gun that is looking in this direction. Full cover over here is fantastic. Uh, we could position ourselves here. Uh, this position is not really good. Well, it is for uh, for throwing a grenade, but it is not. It's not a great position. Could put a, position ourselves here, then we can shoot over there and switch over and fight uh, that side. Um, wondering if that is a good idea. We're supporting this site with the Reaper. And I think what we can do here is Pistol Overwatch, deal some damage and we can still uh, throw grenades. As for our VIP, move to here please. Overwatch, Overwatch. And very much Overwatch. All right, so this side here is a bit overloaded, uh, so we might be able to completely kill them. We've got here. Here. In true X confession, of course, they are sending the stronger uh, team on to the other side. That's one down. That's uh, injury. And uh, just the right amount of enemies, uh, just the right amount of Overwatch is there. Wow, good hit. Lovely. Good, it's not very surprising that more of them are indeed coming in. Good. Let's 
uh, solves uh, the problem. I go where you tell me. And this solves the uh, next problem. Still staying concealed. Great. Reload, Overwatch. Reload, Overwatch. On Overwatch. Um, might as well slowly but surely move over uh, to the other side and do that with another pistol Overwatch. Good, bring it on. Continuing to neutralize the hostiles. How much damage is this? Three to four. Yeah, I figured that might not be enough to kill him. I will go. Going for cover. And of course, minimum damage. Not great. Move over, and we do have a stock, so that's a hundred percent kill. Stocks are not to be underestimated. Overwatching. Murphy moves up and takes a pistol Overwatch. Very good. Still got the situation nicely under control. Which, uh, of course, results in us missing our next shot. Reloads. Kills this guy. Kills that guy. Reload Overwatch. Reload, Overwatch, and reload, Overwatch. Overwatch. We get admin here. Unfortunate that the first shot was missing. position for the action. get out of there before things get any worse good where's our extraction zone back there okay cool order confirmed on the move bring us over to there can move there um Confirmed on the move. Gotta 
Overwatch. Overwatch. We're going back into the shadows, which gives us more movement, and we're almost at the exit. VIP disappears. Firebrand has the VIP. Time to get the rest of the squad out of there before they get overrun by those damn things. Have been forces sighted. One down. Get it together. Two down. Okay. Yeah, we're getting it together. Got him. We picked up a lull in their forces. It looks like they're running out of reinforcements. Let's get moving before that changes. Get it done. One. Two. Double time. Three. Four, five, and let's get out of here. Again, we could have farmed reinforcements a bit more, but that's not necessary to win. Good, very good. Let's take a good look at Not a single casualty reported, Commander. I hope you Good. Got an upgrade to Blade Master here. Got some shredder, which is much needed going forward. And we got revival protocol. Fabulous. Things couldn't go better. Engineer, 90 intel on top of it. Great. The intel will go a long way. Uh, the engineer certainly will do as well. So with the engineer, we're continuing our excavation. And... Uh, what else? Uh, intel, we could purchase something from the black market, but there was, I think there was not anything major. However, having a scientist, that indeed is something major, so I want to immediately grab that. Gets us to three scientists, three uh, engineers, and hopefully gets down the magnetic weapon uh, research timer. Cool, so before we do anything, let's promote our first lieutenant, Anders, good job, run and gun, lovely. We will need, however, a captain rank, uh, so that is soon going to happen, soon-ish. First thing, any promotion here? Yes, and it's a reduced avatar progress on top of it, so that's kind of a no-brainer uh, to do that. Prevent soldier capture, go for this and uh, support him uh, with uh, Lyrical. Very good. That will soon get, uh, get us the GTS upgrade that we are looking for. And if you can field six soldiers, that also means you're getting more experience at the same time. So there are substantial advantages of course doing that. Maximum power Good. We're doing a nice little creation of power there, uh, which we don't need right away because we don't have any space to build anyways. We could uh, do it, uh, we could use extra power for uh, the upgrade here, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, why am I continuing to click the wrong button? Okay, so what we want to do is we want to continue clearing the alien debris. So that will happen there and there. 
Uh, I like the alien alloys that we're getting out of uh, these machinery rooms. That'll be helpful because we have plenty of supplies at this point uh, that we could that we could use. I want to build a few more a few more buildings soonish. Good. So that's the Viper King. It's always uh, the Viper King is always the first uh, of the three. We could increase regional income, or we could make contact, which automatically increase your regional income as well. So we're doing very well for ourselves at this point in the game. Commander, with the number of contacts we've established, we're getting requests for hidden dark event or the bleeding status. And we're going to go for the bleeding status because I want the engineer uh, just to speed up the uh, building process even further. Uh, looking at the timing, we have uh, more than enough time for another mission. If you wonder why I'm letting the supplies rest, we have enough supplies so there's no need to get, gather them now. And if the next month supplies are coming in, then uh, you don't uh, need to waste extra time on them. So pretty sure that easy difficulty means no chosen is going to be there. These guys are already tired. So what I would want to do is instead get the second team uh, going, which would be this year, plus Morose as a specialist, plus another Grenadier. And that seems like a good idea. Dude, why are you wearing shorts? Wolf, oh, this is unacceptable. Someone else took your spot. Dress to work appropriately is what Saiken is saying. Well, um, inappropriate Murphy is just standing there in his beanie pants. Well, he's he's an exception to the rule. Good, plenty of grenades. Can we build anything else uh, that is fun? No. Make utility items available would not do much. I think we don't have any additional utility items. All right, so do we have weapon upgrades? No, we don't because we're always destroying the loot. Well, we gotta start not destroying the loot, I suppose. Let's go. Alright guys, I just realized that we already had two missions in this episode, uh, totally my bad. Uh, in that case, this is uh, the outro. Thank you so much for watching, appreciate your viewership. If you enjoy this run, leave a comment and a like down below and Operation Ancient Hammer will happen the next time. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Bye bye.